Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn what is variable, rules for naming the variable, and the different ways in which variable can be created. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Like other programming languages, Dart also supports the concept of variables. Basically, variables are the containers that stores the program data. In Dart, each and everything is an object. That's the reason when we create a variable, actually in memory, an object is created. So we can say variable stores the reference that is the address of an object. Now let's understand what are the rules for naming the variables. The name of variable can contain alphabets and digits. It cannot be started with digit. There are only two special symbols allowed. These are the underscores and dollar. The name of variable cannot be a keyword as it is. However, a combination of capital and small case letters are allowed as a keyword, but nobody prefers that one. And Variable name is case sensitive, so it makes a sense when you write the variable with capital and small case combinations. Now let's understand what are the different ways in which variable can be created. So in that, there are three different ways in which variable can be created. The first one is type annotation. The type annotation is very much similar to the way in which we create a variable in C and C++. In this way, we have to specify the type, that is the data type of variable, then we have to specify the name of variable. Of course, we can pass some value if you want to initialize the variable. Let's look at some example. Age is a variable of type integer. Price is a variable of type double. The name is the variable of type string, which is assigned with the value called Siddharth. And this value is a variable of type list, and it is a list of type integer. Don't worry, this concept is called generics. And in my upcoming videos, I will explain in details what is generics. Second way is using the keyword called var. That has a keyword called var using which a variable can be created. Let's examine this one. In this case, you have to specify the keyword var. Then just write the name of your variable. If you have some value to assign for the variable, you can write in the form of expression. This expression can be a constant or it can be a function call that returns some value to be stored in the variable. Let's examine this one. Here a is a kind of variable which I have declared using the keyword called var. And the name is again a variable. I have declared using the var and it is assigned with the value called Siddharth. The third way using the keyword called dynamic that also allows you to create the variable similar to var. Simply you have to write the dynamic, the name of variable or you can write dynamic variable name along with some expression. The expression can be in the form of constant value or it can be a function call that returns a value to your variable. So let's look at some example. A is a variable of type dynamic. Again, name is a variable of type dynamic, which is assigned with the value Siddharth. Now, you guys might be thinking, there are same ways of declaring variable using var and a dynamic. The syntax looks the same, even I have given the same example. Only difference is having the keyword var and the dynamic. So, what is the exact difference between the var and dynamic? For this, you have to watch my next video, where I will cover in detail the difference between var and dynamic keyword. That's it for this video. If you really found this video helpful and you like the way I'm teaching, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.